call to order. <clears throat> Want to welcome everybody to the uh, Monday, May the 23rd, 2016 commission meeting. Uh, I'm Trey Taylor. I'll be uh, filling in for Chairman Bowen and uh, Vice Chairman uh, uh, Stephanie Daniel Smoke tonight. Uh, they're unavailable to attend. Uh, first, or, first order of business or first item of business is to review the minutes of April 23rd, 2016 commission meeting. Any corrections? If not, we'll move on. Uh, review the me memorandum of warrants for the period of April 23rd, 2016 through May 4th, 2016. Ms. McDuffie. Uh, yes, the memorandum of warrants for the period stated is $975,443. Any questions? Moving on to new business. Chief Lowry with the uh, Sheriff's Department traffic, uh, traffic Enforcement Agreement with East Central Alabama Highway Safety Office. Chief Lowry, are you here? Tell yep. us about it. How are y'all? Doing great. Good. Um, several months ago, we were approached by DECA regarding a uh, click it or ticket campaign that they were going to be running. Um, this begins actually tonight if approved through June the 5th. Um, they base statistics on the number of fatalities we've had um, in the last, I don't know how far ago they go back, but several years, I think. And we rank, I mean, as y'all well know, we've had several fatalities. Um, with no seat belts. Um, the grant that this particular grant, like I said, runs through, uh, starts tonight, runs through June the 5th, but the agreement, it runs all the way through September, the end of September, because there's other opportunities for grants for sober driving, uh, driving impaired, any type of uh, details like that. But in particular, this grant allows us to, it's not um, set hours, it's a 24 hour period that we can have different times um, units can be out and it's federally funded um, and I mean that's 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 pretty much the gist of it um, like I said if approved we'd, we would start tonight uh, is there any discussion or question or comments on it I have one is is there a is there a match on that grant no sir. no, no I yes. couldn't hear him for the fan I'm yes. sorry no sir blowing in my ear all right thank you Chief Lauer yes, sir. next item of business discuss setting the public hearing for 050 retail beer off-premises only and a 070 retail table wine off-premises only liquor license application for Manajava Ya LLC for four-way market 1651 Baum Road, Tallahassee, Alabama 36092. Huh? I should be with Tomka. Okay. All right. Well, Let's change that to we time for. Any questions or discussions about this? Moving on, next item of business, consider transferring of excess funds from May 20th, 2013 tax sale to the general fund, Ms. McDuffie. Uh, yes, sir, this is a state statute and if uh, property has not been redeemed within three years, uh, it is transferred into the general fund, however, the uh, original property owner has up until 10 years to request it from the general fund. So every third, every year, uh, three years back, or the, the sale three years back, excess is turned over to the general fund. All right. That's just routine. All right. Next item of uh, business is Discuss leasing old EMA office space to Thames Building to Schneider Electric for use as a project office during energy savings project. Richie? Commissioners, the uh, Schneider Electric, our energy savings company, is uh, uh, they've already begun mobilizing for our project. And uh, as they were trying to get set up, one of the things they looked at was uh, bringing in office trailers to do their uh, project management. And they uh, approached us about renting out the old space for the EMA in the uh, Thames building and uh, they're offering up $400 a month for probably six to nine months max and uh, we thought it was a, a good item to bring to you uh, a good use of that space is until we can uh, uh, get that cleaned up and get it ready to be used by other um, patrons in the future so sir 
It's just sitting there right now. Now that we would be paying the, we're still paying the utilities right now, so that'd be minimal use of utilities because you're talking about a couple people in there during the week. So, well, we, would we move the utilities over to them, or would they? No, sir. We, we just go ahead and keep, just keep them in our name okay. for the short period of time. All right. Any more questions or discussion? Next on the consent docket, approved travel mem memorandum. Any questions or discussion? Personnel notification, notification of hire of Jason Crompton, corrections officer to replace Z Jones, effective 5216. Notification of termination of Joshua Singleton, corrections officer, effective 42116. Not notification of hire of Walker Patterson, corrections officer, to replace Jay Singleton, effective 25916. Notification of hire Shelly Saucer, probate clerk, new, new position added to replace. Uh, eliminated tag clerk position effective 5 16 16. Any questions or discussions on personnel or need anything moved to the docket? All right. Reports to the commission, county administrator. Uh, I have no report tonight. Mm -hmm. Highway Department report, Richie. Commissioners, I only have one item and it's in front of you. It says uh, there's a public notice in front of you about our draft ADA transportation transition plan. As part of our MPO, Metropolitan Planning Organization planning process, um, we have to go in and show that we have a transportation transition plan, meaning that we are going to accommodate ADA on all our pedestrian and bike facilities. Um, we have very few uh, pedestrian and bike facilities on county right away. The few that we do have are on the last page, and uh, every single one of those are either permitted through a private entity or a municipality. Um, so the county really has very limited exposure there, but we have to have a plan in place to be able to continue to uh, uh, compete for the federal funds and the MPO. And we're not the only ones. All the MPO um, members are required to do this. Um, and as we Every time that we look at a transportation project in the study area of the MPO, we have to make considerations for pedestrian and, and bike facilities. So we, uh, we, this is just for your information tonight. We're going to be in a public comment period for the next uh, two weeks. It will be posted on our website and our bulletin board. And, uh, and then we'll come back the end of June to adopt the, uh, the final transition plan. As you can see, it's, it, there's not much to the plan. It's more or less a procedure in place if someone were to have a grievance how we deal with it um, we, we do full inspections and we're uh, also in the process of doing this for our buildings as well um, luckily with all the improvements that y'all are working um, have worked on over the last uh, couple years and we have coming uh, that's addressing a lot of our ADA issues there too so do y'all have any questions of me that's all I have for a report update on Ingram Road Bridge. The dirt contractors and wall contractors were there today working on that, and we are still slated for uh, early J June being able to get in there and open. So I owe you some uh, pictures on social media, I think, so you can share that. I will get those up for you. Okay. Thanks, sir. Any more questions or discussion for Mr. Byron? Moving on, uh, Emergency Management Agency, Mr. Jones. Yes, sir. Uh, Commissioner, just to give a quick report on a couple of things we've worked on the last week or so is uh, we, we participated in an after action meeting with uh, the Tallahassee Fire Department and Tallahassee uh, Police Department in a, a uh, meeting last Tuesday night on the, the Tallahassee Mill fire and, and went through some of the uh, lessons learned of, of that size uh, event and uh, it was a very productive and very, uh, very good uh, after action meeting with all of the agencies that were there lasted a little over three hours and it was it was very productive um, also I've participated in a focus group discussion with the National Weather Service and the media the, the TV meteorologists from our area uh, well across central Alabama the Birmingham media market the Columbus and Montgomery media markets and it was uh, a focus group that the National Weather Service did four of these across the nation and and we were selected as one uh, area across the nation to participate and uh, it was a, a, couple, a handful of, of uh, local emergency managers, uh, the, na the local National Weather Service office, and then the, the media. And it was to uh, provide them feedback and, and give them information from our perspective on 
the, uh, the, the coordination of, of warning information across our area. And I, I was really glad to be able to participate in that. And, and I think a lot of good things are going to come from that. Uh, and then we participated last uh, Wednesday as, a, as an office with the state uh, EMA office on the state hurricane conference. Just We did it as a drill to, to go through some, some uh, activities in our office and, and use some of the equipment in our office and identify some areas where we need to, to make some changes and adjustments in our office with regards to some of the equipment and processes we use. And then uh, last but certainly not least is, is we supported uh, Elmore Fire Department on their uh, tractor show this weekend. We took the mobile command post and a couple of generator light sets over for them and along with the uh, hazmat trailer. And I say that to, to also brag on uh, our volunteers. We have a handful of volunteers that, that work with us and, and we can call on them just, just like they're, they're full-time paid employees and, and they get out there and work for us helping us with deploying a lot of these assets and helping us with certain uh, processes and programs. And, and I'd just like to say thanks to them. They, they, they are dedicated, and, and we can call on them all of the time. You hear, you hear me patting my staff on the back, and, and uh, I don't do that enough with all of our volunteers. They've really, really, uh, over the last five or six months, uh, you know, really been a force for us to be able to call on, and, and we're really strengthening that with some of the, the uh, guidelines we're putting in place with them and, and growing that program. I really look forward to growing that program, but I just wanted to say thanks to our volunteer staff. That's all I've got. y'all have any questions of me? Any questions or discussion? All right, moving on, county attorney's report, Mr. Weller. I do not have anything to report tonight, but I certainly would be uh, available to answer any questions. <clears throat> all right, moving on to that, do any of the commissioners have any reports? Commissioner Falk. Uh, thank you, Commissioner Taylor. I, I was privileged and honored to uh, be part of the welcome committee for the Elmore Volunteer Fire Department's antique tractor show and tractor pull last Saturday. It was very well attended and appreciate the public support. Thanks, sir. All right. Commissioner Rachel. Nothing at this time. Uh, the only thing I had to report is let's continue to pray for uh, Mr. John Smoke, uh, Stephanie's husband. Uh, he's still recovering. Uh, I think he's going to be moved to UAB in the next, or has already been moved to the UAB. All right. He's been moved to UAB. Y'all continue to pray for him. Uh, Ms. Kim, important calendar dates, please. Yes, sir. Um, Thursday, May 25th at 2 o'clock, the bids are due for the courthouse annex. Monday, May 30th, the courthouse is closed in observance of Memorial Day. Monday, June 6th, the courthouse is closed in observance of Jefferson Davis' birthday. Our next commission meeting will be Monday, June 13th at 5 p.m. with the business meeting following. Um, one quick item, the memo of warrants dates I noticed were incorrect. It should be May 5th through May 18th, so I'll get that updated for the business meeting. All right. Any questions or discussion from any of the commissioners? All right, we'll uh, come back. Uh, this. Uh, ends our business meeting and we'll come back with a regular commission meeting uh, just a few minutes after we correct the agenda. Thank you. Uh, let's call to order. Uh, this is the uh, Monday, May uh, 23rd business, uh, not business meeting, but a uh, commission meeting. Uh, Eric Jones is going to do our invocation for the uh, meeting, please. Let us pray. Dear God, we come to you again just thanking you for the opportunity to do the business of the people here, dear God, in our, our home county. Dear God, I just I thank you for these uh, commissioners that, that uh, are working, dear Lord, for the people, for the public, dear God. The public service is something that, that I, I feel is a, a tremendous reward, dear Lord, to be able to, to be entrusted to serve the, the public, dear God. And I pray that all of our local elected officials uh, and, and local uh, public servants, dear God, to do our work in a manner pleasing to you, dear God. Dear Lord, I also want to lift our, our uh, first responder community up to you, dear God. There have been a lot of uh, uh, calls that, that have called on a lot of them, dear Lord, and, and uh, with no injuries, dear God. You, you don't see calls where you have so many first responders called out and, and uh you know, to, to not have any fatalities or any injuries, dear God, that we just know that's your grace and mercy being uh, 
shared with us, dear God, and your protective hand for them, dear Lord. And I just I pray for protection for all of our law enforcement officers, all of our fire uh, service representatives and EMS responders, dear God. I just pray for each of them and their families. I, I pray for them as they're away from their families. You protect them, dear Lord. And dear Lord, also our military that are overseas, dear God. We forget that we're, we have men and women uh, on the front lines fighting in some very, very harsh conditions. And Dear God, we're, we're so far away from them, we don't think about them. And dear God, I just pray that we'll continue to remember them and, and remember their families as they're away from them, dear God. And I just pray for a protective hedge around those that are serving our country. And dear God, again, just thank you for loving us. Thank you for all you do for us each and every day. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Commissioner Falk, what do I pledge? Call roll, please, Ms. Kim. Commissioner Falk. Here. Commissioner Taylor. Here. Chairman Bowen. Commissioner Rachel. Yes. Mr. Daniel Smoke. A regular business. Motion to approve the minutes for April 21st, 2016 commission meeting as presented in the work session. So moved. Second. And uh, other business. Motion to approve the memorandum. Um, oh. We got a vote. Oh, I'm sorry. Roll call. I'm, I'm Roll sorry. Call. Okay. Roll call. Roll call. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Commissioner Falk. Yes. Commissioner Taylor. Yes. Commissioner Rachel. Um, yes. Motion to approve <clears throat> approve the memorandum of warrants for the period of May 1st, 2016, May 5th, 2016 through May 18th, 2016. Motion. Vote. Second. Call roll, please. Commissioner Falk. Yes. Commissioner Taylor. Yes. Commissioner Ray. Yes. On a new new business, motion to approve or deny sheriff department's track and track enforcement agreement with East Central Alabama Safety Office and authorize chairman to execute. Motion to approve. Second. Call roll, please. Commissioner Falk. Yes. Commissioner Taylor. Yes. Commissioner Rachel. Yes. In other business, motion to approve or deny setting. Public hearing for Monday, June 13, 2016, at 5 p.m. for 050 retail beer off premises only and 070 retail table wine off premises only. Liquor license application for Mano Java LLC for four way market, 151 Bomb Road, Wetumpka, Alabama. Motion to approve. Second. Call roll, please. Commissioner Falk? Yes. Commissioner Taylor? Here. Yes. Mr. Rachel. Yes. <laughs> In other business, motion to approve or deny transferring of access funds from May 20th, 2013 tax sale to general fund. Motion to approve. Second. Call roll, please. Commissioner Falk. Yes. Commissioner Taylor. Yes. Commissioner Rachel. Yes. In other business, motion to approve or deny leasing old EMA office space to Thames Building to Schneider Electric for use of project office during the energy savings project. Motion to approve. Second. Call roll, please. Commissioner Falk? Yes. Commissioner Taylor? Yes. Commissioner Rachel? Yes. May we approve the consent, Dr. Second. Call roll. Commissioner Falk? Yes. Commissioner Taylor? Yes. Commissioner Rachel? Yes. Personal notifications, personnel notifications, notification to hire Jason Crompton, corrections officer to replace Z Jones, effective 5 2 16 notification to termination of Joshua Single corrects officer effective 421 16 notification to hire of Walker Patterson corrections officer to replace James Single effective 5916 and notification to hire Kelly Saucer probate clerk new position to add it to replace eliminate tag clerk effective 516 reports to the commission anybody have anything other than what we already have all right May we adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. Call roll, please. Commissioner Falk? Yes. Commissioner Taylor? Yes. Commissioner Rachel? Yes. We are adjourned.